What is going on guys? Trey is back and today we have a new event starting off. Um, a mob raid event. Wow. No dungeon. <laughs> Isn't that great? So we come off of a PvP event and go straight back into a mob raid event. So um, maybe we're going back to the natural order of things. I used to be. You know, but that remains to be seen. But for now, let's go ahead and start the mob raid event. Gather ye all to celebrate the first anniversary of the defense of Texel. <laughs> there be warriors legendary, I'll warrant. Think they'll be dancing? A Nisri color. Is that Perrin Dunn, the pure? And Druaga? I've heard songs about her. <laughs> Where'd they go? Ah, there she is. And Exo, how did it blam? She doom. We'll dance, I, on your cold carapace. <laughs> that was a pretty good story, actually. <laughs> All right, guys. So, of course, we know mob raid event. Um, you encounter a raid boss. And you unleash the beast upon his uh, exo skull. Um, of course, you gotta go on a journey, and in these special raid boss dungeons, you have to go on a journey, join the mob, fight the um, heroes, or not the heroes, but fight the raid bosses, and then beat them up. Try to build up salvo, and the more you beat up, um, the more points you get. And of course, at the end of the event, if you score a whole ton of points, you can get this wonderful leaderboard prize in the bottom right corner. All right, so a quick look at our prize highlights. Um, let's see here. We have Drew Aga. Oh, wow. <clears throat> he has some really good stats. Um, a lot of HP, a lot of attack. A lot of defense, cooldown of two, which is so-so. Night bloom, beware of what grows unseen, for it cares not what it stifles. <laughs> so this thing got two heads, huh? Wow. Drew Aga. All right, legendary leaderboard prize there. Climb the leaderboard for him. Then we got the primacy prize, who's the Antioch's recaller, who is a preempt. Oh, <laughs> go ahead, preempt. All right, launches when the enemy line forms, targets one foe. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing the math in my head. She looks like this. She's gonna be a pretty decent preempt. Probably not as strong as Anias or Nice, how we said, but um. She looks like she's going to be a pretty decent preamp. We'll get the full stats a little bit later on when we do the prize highlights video. Here we have Pulpum. Um, Nim. Wow. Nimensa. I like this guy's look, dude. Look at that born arrow. Whoa, Nelly. And he got like three arrows in his hand. He's no joke. <laughs> hmm. The only problem is. Looks like this guy's going to be super fused fodder. Um, that's the only problem. Taking a quick look at him, he looked like he's probably going to be super fused fire. And then we have our Paragon, of course. The one you definitely want to get when going through a mob raid event. Paragon the Pure. Uh, I definitely like his look. That's a heck of a staff in his hand, too. Um, Kinesis Elite. I like the name of that skill. The alchemists say that electricity never lies. It flows. It's true. <laughs> I deal with electricity. That's actually a true statement. Of course, I ain't hear it from no alchemist, but it's true. It actually flows the path of least resistance, too, if you want to go into a little more detail. But we're talking about Defender Texas Hill Trade. Don't get out of line. All right, so 1,000% edge. Um, not a lot of health. Considerable attack. Of course, not a lot of defense. Not a ton of wisdom. Huh. He looks like an okay paragon. 
probably end up comparing him to Warnke Warp Sloan to see what he's looking like. All right, so of course we got our two halves. First half we're gonna be getting the Aaron, the or the Anise Anias recolor, and second half we're gonna be getting the Mimps, uh, however you say it. All right, so let's see what we got going on here, guys. Into the Paragon with Magic and Righteousness on the side, paring down the Pure Shot Prevail. Send them forth against the Dread Machine to let lightning strike. Oh, he has no leg. He's just floating there. Okay. All right, then. Kinesis Elite. All right, let's see what we got going on here, guys. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Defenders. It's been one Texelli year since the arrival of the first Defender. That calls for a shindig. So three events and five heroes. Oh, wow. Well, guys, the pit or judging by this, I think it'd be safe to say that Siege is out. Um... We, we got Mob Ray here. I see GVG, which I'm going to guess is PvP. Um, just my guess could be wrong. And then I see three special dungeons. So, I think it is safe to say that Seeds was just some kind of test run for DNA. And they are pretty much officially kicking it out. It's been out of the rotation for quite some time now. So, I'm going to say it's done and over with, guys. Unfortunately, I kind of really like Siege. Okay, an anniversary legend, Manatar. Wow, look at that guy. That lance is crazy too, or that spear. Play events to get exclusive rares. Fuse them to build a tradable epic or stay the course and build a legendary. Alright. The gift build and gear. Try to gift build and you can score an event only anniversary gear. These exclusive items are also sold in the store in limited quantities. Oh wow, this ought to be interesting. Look at this, dude. Canic and cake. So we got Divi Elite Docs HP equivalent to 15% of the enemy's max HP. Hmm. Cahoots Elite. It's always a ball when siege layers pass and present convene. No way, dude. That's um Vashti and Bringer skill. Are you kidding me? That's on a piece of gear? Oh Nelly. Wayne not Glenn. Limelight all elite. Wow, dude, that's Uma skill, but a uh, all version of it. Inflicts 15 counts of fame on any who dream of besting the best. And matchmaker all. Uh if I had to pick, that'd be the worst one right there. Matchmaker all. <laughs> what skull duggery is this that dooms only two among the band? Yeah, exactly. You got I don't I don't like those chance skills like that. At least not for a fighter's actual cooldown. Like boo on the pumpkin staff, I'm alright with. I mean if it works, great. If it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal either. But if it's your actual skill and you cool down one or two turns or however long it takes and you use it and it doesn't work, it's like wow dude. <laughs> I just wasted so many turns and it didn't even work. But it's on the piece of gear, so it definitely makes it better than, say, Sinecra. Ugh. All right, so some pretty good pieces of gear here, guys. It's going to be interesting to see how we have to get those. Now, they said they were in the store, so I'm going to go look in the store. Let me see what's going on here. Oh, I just saw an extra thing down there. Say anniversary. Gift token. Limited to 10 daily. What's the gift token for? Hmm. Why do I got a feeling DNA is going to be making a lot of money? Let's see what's going on here. Anniversary. Oh, that's what I just read. <laughs> Alright. So, same thing. Alright, well, we're going to have to do some research about those gift tokens, guys. I don't really know what's going on there, but... <sighs> what's the invite ID? Tangra, okay. Nothing too too special there. At least not in my opinion. But we got Tangra this time around. And okay, good. The event is only one week long. That's great. Um 
take a quick look at the bill here. Perindon the Pure. Okay. My Diori. Alright. Not guaranteed until step eight. Alright. Paid bill. And last but not least, at least before we get into some action anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what's going on on the leaderboard. Oh, and two of the other one, huh? Wow. I'm trying to go big. Okay. Hmm. So we got, you're going to be able to build up two legendaries by placing in this event. All right. A lot going on this time around, guys. All right, well, there we have it, guys. The first signed mob raid event. Um, looks like we got a lot going on here. And, you know, DNA is trying to do it big for their anniversary. So we'll see what we got going on. But um, as I stated previously, guys, I guess it's safe to say that Siege is out. I guess that was just a test run from them for, for them. They did five of them, I guess, to see how it go. And I guess they got their answers. So, um... But thank you guys for watching. Please continue to like, favorite, subscribe, share, comment, and everything else. And Trey will be back at your screen more dot video soon. Later, guys.